Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here this year I have a new campaign in Victoria 2 in which we're playing as Ching China in HPM. And some of you might be wondering, why am I doing this? Because it was recommended on my Discord server and I apparently have a lot of time right at the time of this recording to do so and tear my hair out. But the Heavenly Kingdom! A troublemaker has arisen in the Southern Lands. According to reports, this man claims to have received a vision to the effect that he is a younger brother of Jesus Christ and was sent to rid China of the corrupt Machu Ching Dynasty rulers. He's been winning converts to Christianity, and it seems that there are many willing to listen to his words of sedition and join his so-called heavenly kingdom, which is going to be a pain in the butt. But uh, we'll see what happens right now, right at the beginning. We're just going to go ahead and just justify on the Vietnamese, because we can't, even though we don't have any real research. Ooh, research here, what is the research reforms? We're actually 25% towards westernization already. We've only 8 research points, of course. I'm still trying to figure out how the economy is going to work, which it probably won't. Um... But if we do go to war, we definitely want to make sure we grab one of these things. I love economic reforms. But, uh, which one is it? Oh, we have unported weaponry. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. Okay, we definitely need foreign training methods. Definitely want to get foreign training methods. We need a lot, more than 10, or 1,000% of what we currently have. So just double-checking all this stuff. Yeah, that's the one you want. Or uh, foreign officer training, which would be very good. So either this one or training methods. Anything else here? Western shipyards? No, not really. Um, this one's not bad either. Foreign naval offices, but we're not going to focus on the ships too much. As well as navy schools, which wouldn't be too bad as well. Even though right now, we literally can't build any sort of ships. And let's take a quick look at the economy. It's still going down. We're going to maximize uh, education as much as possible. Uh, the middle class isn't doing so well. The high class, it's alright. If we lower this, it doesn't really affect us too much. Tariffs are relatively high. We increase that up by a little bit. As long as we're making just a little bit of money, I think we should be okay. And everyone, I guess it's time to try to take out Vietnam, their ally to Cambodia and Burma. Um, hopefully we do okay. I hope no one comes and tries to hurt us. We can either get Annam or Cook in China, and I'm going to assume... I want Tonkin. Uh, also, with this whole justification thing, um, we can make him a puppet, but I don't think that's really going to be quite what we want to do. Tonkin would be over... Well, Annam. Tonkin's up here, obviously. But Annam... Doesn't have a whole lot. But fast we go to war. Oh, maybe get some rubber. Maybe get cook in China. We'll go for that one. Um, at this point, we're just going to just barrel, just barrel through. Or also, we're allied to the Japanese for now, but whatever. Um, oh, hello. Conscript the navy. Oh, Qing Empire does not need a standing navy. When the time comes, we can build some ships, conscript merchant and fishing ships, and fit them with guns. That time came again. It's time for the Qing people to step up and protect the country. Oh, we lose prestige though. Oh, we get flintlock rifles, though. Activate technology. Do we not have... We already have that, though. So... I don't see the point of that. Um, and we don't have the bonus yet to actually... If we conquer some t so territory, we don't get extra research bonus, which might be bad, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's, it'll take too long for that anyways. And they didn't join it, but whatever. Let's see what y'all can do. Uh, anything else here? No? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I um, mean, we just we have bodies. I mean, that's what that's literally what we have. And also, a lot of these guys are regulars; they're not very good soldiers. So we'll see. But oh, the battle's nice. Haiphong, Hanoi. Let's go to Hanoi. All right, I'm gonna send you guys this way too. See what we can do. What's this? Nepal? No, nah, we're good. Nice. And where are you guys headed to? Haiphong. How many soldiers is that? Uh, keep one of you guys there. Send you over here too. A regular is just not very good. There you go. They all died. As they should. Alright, not bad. So far, so good. I am trying to get more bureaucrats up here as well. So, we'll see. These guys actually are not too bad. Tartar -tar -tar cavalry, huh? I'm uh, just going to hang out. I don't want to use, use you guys up too much right now. Um, you guys can do that. This is a new army we're trying to build. <coughs> Excuse me. Honestly, I think we'll be okay with just leaving it like this for now. Plenty population. Oh, the first one's done. Sun, Sun La. Pretty good. Definitely don't want to lower our military score at all. Alrighty. Who's the next one? Probably this one. Oh. Nice. See what you can do. Economy's doing okay ish, not great. I also wish we could maximize spending, but whatever. And. I was hoping to get this tile. It's gonna take us a little longer to go to war with these guys, actually. 
Uh, relations are too high. I'm just here to take out people for now. Is it smart to take them out right now? I don't know. We'll see. And so one down here too. All right, who's next? Nice, good job, guys. Oh yeah, we're, we're these guys too. I forgot about that. Ah, but Allah's helping us out. That's fine. Yeah, maybe we want to wait to invade Vietnam. But then again, the more, the longer we wait, the faster uh, the we the greater the possibility that we don't get Vietnam. The French do, and I, and if it's something that I don't like, it's the French. When they take potential colonies away from us. Queen Victoria, that's fine, no one cares. Head down here. And Hanoi will be ours, hopefully. Thank you very much. I did want to take a Burma, or, you know, but with these guys doing what they're doing. It is what it is. What are we missing here? We need more small arms. We need money. Is there anything else we can demand from Vietnam? No. Ah. We're also fighting Cambodia. Oh. War goals? No? Okay, well, we're getting there. Slowly getting there. <sighs> so many expenses. Oh. Siam, that'd be nice to have. As well, under us. Cambodia will siege him down, too. We really don't even have any, uh, infamy so far, so... Might be able to just take something, maybe? I don't know. What happened to the audio? Why did it poop out? Now, this is really concerning me right now. Max it out then. That doesn't do very much for us. Oh, uh, that's okay. Social spending doesn't really matter. What's costing us the most? It's education. My goodness, education is so expensive. Okay, what happened to the audio? Uh, audio. No? I think it just pooped out on us. That kind of sucks. Well, that's all right. We'll quickly get through this, and then I'll figure out what's going on with the audio. I'll do that. Do that. Planning population. Burma. They would accept this offer. We'll see. Nah, we're good. Um, that's we do go to peace. The better it would be for us, probably. We did really well right here too. I want to get more options. Oh, Tibet's in the war with us. Oh, I forgot about that. You know what? The faster we go to peace, we can maybe take out Bhutan. Actually, can we actually justify on Bhutan? Humiliate, make public. Dang it, we can't do that one. Um, we would need a navy and just really stockpile a lot of guys here. Uh, with Cook and China, we don't get Annam. Maybe we should have gotten Annam. Because then we can take out this group. I definitely want to take out Lua Prabang. Which were these guys doing that over there? Uh, Qinghai, all these people are under us. Can we go to war with Cochrane? Liberate? No. I mean, we could, but that wouldn't really be worth it. The faster we go to a peace with Burma, the faster we can go back to war with them. That's true. So, um, you know what? I guess we'll just take whatever we can right now. Screw it. Well, first war done. I think we'll do the next war once we have the actual research done. Is it worth getting this tile? Honestly, probably not right now. But well, that's okay. Uh, you know what? Keep you all together. Why not? Because 35 is not bad. Keep you guys there. Keep you guys here. Just in case we have resistance and rubbles, that'll be okay. And then you guys will build Vietnamese infantry, cavalry, anything like that. Nope, but uh, hey, at least we won a war. You know, this is definitely not a guide on how to play China. We're doing okay. I cut down the education budget just by a little bit, which we're doing okay-ish. But now we can go to war with Bhutan because we can make them a puppet, I guess, you know. And uh, it'll be alright. But I've already gone ahead and we've just gotten foreign training methods, as you can tell by how much research points we have. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it goes okay. Um, hopefully Tibet does come in as well. Uh, Tibet, Tibet. Are we going? No? Wait, wait. Um. We're down to Tibet. Uh. I don't think I understand why we can't go to war with them. But Vietnam? Fire State? Sure, why not? Yeah, I don't understand this. Oh, that's a lot of infamy. Holy crap. Then again, we were, I was just sitting here doing nothing, so. Propose peace. Bhutan becomes a puppet. I don't understand why. Do we not have military access to them? To that? Yeah. Ah, maybe that's it. No, no, that's not it. Are we not allowed to go to war with Bhutan? Maybe that's it. 
Oh, there's Hakeem right there. I didn't know that. Am I not clicking correctly? No, I'm clicking correctly. Maybe we're just not allowed to get through here. They still allow slavery over there, too. Huh. Well, then. That kind of sucks. This really sucks. This is really stupid, so I'm allowed to do some funky stuff to make sure we get him as a puppet. Is that... Is that normal? Um, I just wanted to go to war with them for funsies, but okay. If that's going to be like that, then funky stuff will occur. After doing some funky stuff, we totally have Bhutan totally fairly. Yeah, I don't understand. Is that is that really a glitch thing where you can't actually attack him? Which, I mean, makes sense. I mean, it's, you know, hills and mountains and stuff like that, but... Oh, well, Vietnam time. Let's see what we can do. Hope we can do well. If not, you know, it kind of sucks. I've been making some really good divisions. Well, good as in what we can consider good for now. Uh, wow, we're, we're losing pretty hard, huh? There we go. Nice. Not bad. Uh, here, jungles... Uh, defense is pretty bad around there. Where are they headed to? Hanoi? Yeah, I'll go to Hanoi. Not bad. Go on, take him down. I want you guys to go back to Long Song. And then we're over here anyways. Oh, where were these guys? That's fine. Go there, go there, go there, go there, go there. That'll be fine. We're making some pretty good money now. Um, hopefully no one else intervenes. That'll be good if no one else does. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I know we have enough infamy that I don't want to touch too much else. I mean, we, we got to cut that down, so. Nice. Good job, guys. Hi, Fong. Oh, they took that Yunnan. Oh, boy. Hello, horse boy. That's another army that we I already made. Oh, boy, Jingdi. He's pretty okay on attack. Did they just die? Come on. Good, good, good. Nice. There we go. That's what we want to see. Ching Conquest. Yes, sir. Go to Hui. Go down to there. I want you to go to over there. I want you to go. And these are just a bunch of regulars, so I don't really care about them too much. The Chinese soldiers. Who cares, right? You head down there and head on back, actually, up to Shanghai when you're done. Very, very good. Uh, you guys are actually pretty good, and I don't want, to, don't want to hurt you guys too much. Let's go back to... Not Qingdao. Uh, that one. I'm putting them all, all on the victory points. Where are they going to? Vietnam is going to Vin. We're all going to Vin, everybody. <coughs> nice. Hmm. Cambodia do be looking pretty nice this time of year. But there's not really much else we can do. Fast would peace out the patch and go back to war with them, right? So right now, the research points are 1191. We need more? No, we did not. That's stupid. We didn't get any more research points, even though we should have gotten more research points, even though we did when conquering. Your research points when conquering. We didn't get any extra. Even though we just conquered them. I think it's just as a Chinese thing that you're not allowed to, so we'll just keep conquering them. We'll see what happens. But we'll keep keep on attacking. I think we're supposed to be doing more than what we're currently doing, but it's 1852. We haven't had any rebels yet, even though we did get off screen. Where is this? Um, a female shortage. Population deficit means there are more men than women in China, slowing down population growth and upsetting the mass of single males that have never formed a family. That's not very good, obviously. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm not sure what else we're supposed to do, so we're going to go to Copeland. Because they got a lot of coke, I hear, and, uh... We already don't... Not, oh, oh, I guess... Oh, we're allied with those guys, too. Um, so we'll go in. Well, we'll see what we can do. I mean, why are we beating them up? Because they have no military? Um, why not? Losing a lot of money every single day. If they can't mobilize anything, that would honestly be pretty good for us. So, hopefully they don't mobilize anybody. I don't mind getting a puppet. That'd be really nice. Um, other than that, I'm going to try to make more you know, units and such, but... Not much else has been happening. I want to take out Burma if possible. Taiping surf spreads. Uh, the followers of the so-called Heavenly Kingdom have spread their influence even further. According to officials in South Jiangsu, the Christian rebels have been spotted in Xinjiang. And sentiment against the Qing Dynasty is on the rise throughout the entire state. Hmm, that's worrying. Oh, well, crap, that's not good. That's really not good. So then that happens, we're going to have a big old, basically, civil war. And it's going to kill a lot, a lot of people, so... <coughs> It'll be worse. It'll be a lot worse. Uh, where are we at for? Mm, we don't have a lot of score here. We're an absolute monarchy. We don't have a lot of tradition. I mean, we can go to, like, here. I like the pacifism for now just because we get less monthly infamy, which is pretty nice, but... 
Uh, we have anarcho liberals as well, but eh, not really much there. Hello, everybody. Oh, 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 that's not good. Seems like in 1852, we're soon going to get a lot of issues. And these are, you know, irregulars. They're not that great. Actually. Bukhara? Oh, they're with quite a few people. They're still uncivilized as well. Kashmir, probably don't want to attack them. Vietnam, looking pretty good, honestly. I like how they look. I really like how they look. But yeah, we have, like, these types of armies stationed on all these little provinces. So, I hope we do okay. Do we have any other, like, decisions here? And hit Ryuku. It'd be kind of nice. We'd be civilized first, though. Change national value. Probably not going to change that. Ah, that's not good. Yeah, there's not really much here for us. So, oh, hello. Oh. Well, now they're our puppet. Wasn't that nice. Um. Uh. We're sitting back down to Puer. Ooh, or maybe not Puer. Maybe say put Dali or something, but. Yeah, it's literally just me hanging out and me budgeting stuff and waiting for things to explode so uh yeah we'll probably have a heavenly war uh, relatively soonish hong Zhao guan the man behind the so-called heavenly kingdom has been given a name hong Zhu Quan, a former farmer who attempted to do the civil service examinations in guangzhou and failed he has now become a charismatic visionary taking advantage of anti manchu sentiment in the south some say he's crazy and mad but regardless he's a danger to the qing dynasty and his words are finding eager eager ears he is of no consequence Hopefully. Reports have arrived at the palace that a firewood seller by the name of Yang Zhu Quin, a king, has taken to walking the Southlands, claiming to speak with the voice of God. Regardless of his seeming madness, the man has proven very effective at spreading the word of the so-called heavenly kingdom. He, too, is of no consequence. Well, it's that time again, you, me, and a whole bunch of, hopefully, dead Vietnamese. Um, actually, you know what? You, you both go there. You, you, you go there, and then you go right there. We'll see what happens. Shogun of Japan is coming to the war while Burmese and Vietnamese are struggling against the uh, British, which is, you know, of course, fine with us. Typing missionaries in North Xinjiang. Zhangji. We received reports of Christian missionaries in Zhujiang, I guess. The followers of the so-called Heavenly Kingdom, their actions would not be so objectionable if they were not also preaching sedition against Manchu and far worse. Through, or though, provincial governors have attempted to halt the missionaries, this has only seemed to stir up a sport for them even further. There are sightings of their pilots all over North Zhangji now. Collective and silence the missionaries. Or we should tolerate this. No, we're not going to tolerate it. Because technically, com consciousness is still going up. I guess militancy... No, it's it's kind of a mixed bag. <clears throat> Followers of the Heavenly Kingdom are causing further problems in the South. They already have heavily fortified within Xiongyang. And many Qing advisors consider it completely beyond control. Anarchy seems rampant and all throughout West Hubei. These rebels are shouting treason. Can no one do something about this? This is starting to become a problem. Hui unrest in Gansu, though tolerant of religious practices, the Hui Muslims in Ningxia are resentful of discrimination by the Qing government. Unrest in the province has stirred up anti manchu sentiment, even among, among non-Muslims. The violence is threatening to spread throughout all of Gansu. Send in the troops, set, quell them down. We have a lot of money right now, too, actually. Which is really nice. And we'll go ahead and try to conquer these guys. You guys go back. That's fine. Um, it's going to take us some time, that's all. So you guys over here too. They're just uh, regular. It doesn't really matter too much. <coughs> I did make sure we have a nice little war chest just in case. And we need one more infantry here. Who's going to finish that up? Which would be nice. We unrest. I always continue to sell in uh, troops for that. Pro Christian riots in West Shandong. Starting to be a problem. Anti Manchu sentiment. All right. And this cannot be tolerated, of course. Head on down south. See you. Oh, actually, we can go right there too. Because who's that group? Qinghai. Oh, Qinghai. Oh, Qinghai's back. Welcome aboard, Qinghai. I will not be your guide. Missionaries up here. Hmm. Silence if you can. Still going down. Look at that. Even though we're at war, we have some infamy. Very weird. And then it's going to go up and then down. And organic work. If you want to be that, please go right ahead. We'll support the movement. That'll be good. Now head on down here. Now we got them. Go die in the mountains. Die martyr. The hands on the clock point five minutes to twelve. His eyes peer across the town square, seemingly undaunted by the common ocean and the risk. He climbs to the podium and begins to speak. For hours he talks of the U nation, of its oppression, its cause, its future, in a language that reverberates with nothing save the clear tones of a just cause. The Qing uh, Gadarms storm the square and soon he's gone. Somewhere far away in the city, if bell strikes twelve, a young Yi national is in our custody. What should you do with him? Imprison him? Oops. Finger slipped.
Nope, no tolerating them for now. Oh, anarchy in the south. Oh, that's not good. Uh, receiving disturbing reports of anarchy in southern China, a peasant army led by the flags or rebels Feng Shu Yuxuan and Wai Cheng Hui have declared the ascendancy of the so called Heavenly Kingdom and driven out local governors. All within the Qing government agree that we cannot recognize these rebels as having credence. If we do, it raises the question whether the mandate of heaven is still held by the imperial throne. That cannot be allowed, and thus the governors must be given the opportunity to crush rebels and restore order in the emperor's name. Crush them? Out with a Manchu. So, as much as I want to do this right now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to save the game and reload it so this thing doesn't fire, so we can at least finish off the Vietnamese War, conquest them, have a good time, and then we'll probably have anarchy in the south. And now we've had it fire, and we'll hopefully do okay, in which our allies have actually come into the war as well. Let's see, and the Manchu dominance. Since the beginning of the Qing Dynasty, the Chinese imperial administration and bureaucracy had been dominated by a powerful Manchu elite. The Qing emperors had traditionally discriminated heavily against ethnic Han in the 60s. Empress Dawaga Siji effectively ended this practice when she entrusted the country's most powerful military unit to a man of Han background, Zheng Guofan, during the suppression of the Taiping Rebellion. By getting rid of the Manchu elite, we can take an important step towards modernization. We have quite a bit of consciousness. We get more research points. We get North Han as an accepted culture. That's cool. Sure, why not? And other than that, we've got a lot of people to get rid of. And yeah, it's not bad so far, but you know, we'll see what happens. Hello. Uh, fight in the mountains if you need to. Fight down there if you need to. Oh, goodness. So far, it's not looking too bad, especially for some of us here. Go to Nanjing, I guess. Burn it to the ground if possible. Um, What else do we need? Where's the population centers? Here. You? Need some bureaucrats. There you go. Uh, I don't really care what happens. Spend the living crap out of the budget if we have to. Oh, the contention of Peking. A diplomat from Russia has arrived in the Qing Empire with an infuriating demand. They wish to readjust the borders on the northern, northeastern frontier, agreed upon upon almost 200 years ago. They wish access to a southern port upon the Sea of Japan, meaning all of Haishinwai would be turned over to them. Any Russian claimed territory would be handed over by us and our vassals. This is a surely wicked threat, capitalizing on our current perceived weakness. Accepting it will also mean any of our vassals of the region will have to be integrated back into our country to build the situation in the future. No choice but to accept. Project the demands outright. Ooh. Oh, crap. <clears throat> Defies us. Well, they already have really bad relations. They're allied with the French. I've been actually increasing relations with the UK quite a bit. So, I want to say, you know what? If this goes poorly... and they go Oh! Oh! Does that mean they go to war with us, then? Oh, please don't tell me they go to war with us. Oh, crap. That'd be really bad for us. Please don't go to war with us, for the love of God. Oh, <laughs> please don't go to war with us. Um, you guys are down here, yeah. Help them out. Alright, not bad so far. Uh, we got a lot of infantry divisions, which is pretty nice. A couple of rebellions here and there. Uh, we'll start killing them all off, if you can. Shipwreck sailors. One of our coastal provinces is bossing with rumors about the strange people who were found along its shorelines earlier this morning. The more precise origin of these shipwrecked sailors is yet of uncertain, but wherever, wherever they're from, they're definitely not from the Qing Empire. The difficulty now lies in deciding what to do with them. If we send them home, we are effectively changing our policy of non-interaction with the Westerners. Ignoring them and allowing them to stay, however, means permitting a Western presence in the Qing Empire despite our efforts. Send them home. Mm, research points. We need research points. Learn from them. Hanoi. Oh crap, that's not good. Go to Hanoi too. Um, I'll take you guys as well. Help us out up here. You guys, which is actually a pretty decent milita army, or military. Dugong Revolt. With Muslim led unrest existing throughout the province of Xinjiang, a Tajik adventurer by the name of Yakub Beg has led rebels to seize the capital of Kashgar and has driven Qing governors away. The situation in the frontier appears to be out of a hand, with these Muslims having declared an independent state and full jihad against the emperor. That rebellion against our rule is being referred to as the Dugong Revolt by Amban of Xinjiang. Rebels must be destroyed. Out of the Manchu. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Ah, they're over here. Ah. Well, they have no military score either. So, you guys, help us destroy these guys first, and then we'll focus on these guys up later. I forgot about these guys, too. Nice job so far, guys. How do they have a navy? How do we not have a navy? Is this supposed to be this easy so far? I don't want to say too much. Oh, crap, come on! I hate that so much. We were so close to getting them. The Aro Incident. Uh, Qing officials recently boarded the Arrow, a Chinese-owned ship, a lordship that was suspected of piracy and smuggling. Twelve Chinese crew members were arrested on suspicion of piracy by the Qing authorities. British officials have demanded the release of the sailors, however, claiming that because the ship had recently been British registered, it was under the protection. They also demanded reparations. The imperial courts have been enraged by this claim, suggesting that agreeing to British demands would give smugglers free reign throughout China. Punch the pirates. Uh, ooh. 
Relent to British demands. See, oh, come on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm going to save here? Do I want to give up High Nod? I mean, if we have to, we have to. I'm not completely opposed to it. High Nod is even... It's got a lot of population. They have fish, though. We lose a lot of prestige. What if we were to do... Oh, they, we would go to war with them. So we'll probably, probably, probably want to end up giving to them, which I hate, but you know what? That just makes a lot of sense to do. At least it's not Hong Kong. And there goes the Heavenly Kingdom. I mean, this wasn't really that difficult. I mean, maybe it helped that we actually made relatively okay-ish divisions, you know, armies. You know, 12-3. I mean, it's not great, but it, it works. Uh, Actually, take a look here. I wish we could see, like... I guess they're completely out of divisions, which makes sense. We still have the Dungan Revolt to do. Haven't given up Hainan yet, but we'll probably end up doing it anyways, but... The West King. Maybe someday. I'll play as a Heavenly Kingdom, but for now... Unite the nation. Oh, what is this? Nanjing recaptured. Our forces have captured Nanjing, the Ming Dynasty's former capital, and renamed Tianjing by the Taiping rebels. We need to clear the rebel stain and restore the city's historical name. Alright, become China's self-strengthening movement. What is this one? We cannot take a backseat to the Western nations. We must make strides towards modernizing, no matter what the cost is. Oh. Oh wow. More prestige. Okay. Uh, well, okay then. Um, at least we got rid of the whole women issue here. <laughs> we got rid of the women. That's right. Um, what do we have here? We did that. Ooh, that's way too many split in half. Probably. It's fine. Uh, do we have you still? What do we have in terms of nothing? Okay then. Uh, do that. Because I want to make sure that you all have enough strength to do whatever is needed to be done. Um, in all honesty, just do that. We need three cavalry and two more infantry. So three calves and two infantries. There you go. No bureaucrats. We'll see what happens. Maybe this is worth doing. Maybe it's not. Um, in the meantime, we need more infantry. Infantry. All right. Well, still losing a bunch of money. Wasn't that difficult of a war. So from here on out, I guess we'll just keep trying to. Oh, Gene Koken. Kill more people, and I'm a surprised that Russia hasn't tried to attack us. Oh, oh, uh, oh, look at that. Taiping Rebellion defeated. We have crushed Heavenly Kingdom and proven to all of China that the Qing Dynasty yet maintains a mandate of heaven. We abide by no more insurrections. Oh, okay, more prestige. That's nice. All pops in the Qing Empire become more conservative, which is not good. Become 20% more reactionary and minus 10% more liberal, which is bad. Ooh. And all countries that are popular of us will become more conservative and become less liberal. That's not good for us. Now, we're still trying to see these guys down. Uh, here, I'll send you all uh, over here, too. Take out the capital if you can. Um, definitely want to reform our military, because it's not looking too hot right now. Uh, what do we have over here? We need one more infantry. That's not bad. Give me one of your boys. Thank you, good sir. The Huang He burst its banks again. The Nomos Huang He River flooded again. But we haven't cleaned up after last time. Well, that sucks, bro. We got a, we got a lot of prestige now. That's pretty nice. Um, in the meantime, uh, I still haven't given the UK their ter the territory that they demanded. Let's we'll probably still ask for it in the end. <coughs> we unrest in Qing Yunnan. Well, no, you want to do this one again? Please go ahead. Go all the violence. Kill them all off. I mean, it's not bad so far. Do we dare even try to strike these guys? We have bot or equal. Ooh, maybe Cambodia. We probably have a truce with them, don't we? Yeah, until 60, which sucks. Down there, of course. You guys love Prabang. Actually. Ooh, I'm gonna wait to save scum for that one, because that's a lot. But now to get him, but let's wait till we get this war done with first. So that'd be good. Um Yeah. The Pathé Rebellion. Oh crap. Have peace with Han Chinese down with the Qing Court. Rebellion is erupted in the southern province of Yunnan. Led by a rebel named uh, Du Wangju. Foreign ambassador to call an event the Path the Panthe Rebellion, a revolt from the Muslims in Yunnan. The man's forces have already captured Dali and driven out the Qing governor. Forced the government to deal with this matter directly. Or at least Yunnan, huh? That's not. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Wow, that is an ugly color. That is ugly. I'm sorry, but that is an ugly green. That is a puke green, my son. I have a bunch of reactionaries. Ping Nan Guao. Imagine your country's called Ping Nan. Last of the Mandate of Heaven. 
Clear the chance for all space in the Manchu. Oh, crap, that's not good. What do you mean? We already took out the Heavenly Kingdom. Sieging him back down. Oh, look at that. That's nice guys. Bunch of irregulars over there. Oh, no, what? King. What? No. No. Doing okay over here still. Still trying to get more soldiers into there. That'd be good. Still at war, unfortunately, but whatever. Who are you guys? You guys are fine. Oh, well, actually, you guys aren't really that great. Stay there then for now. Oh, look at that, too. Very good job, guys. Very good job. Um, there you go. Hey, go, go, Kotan. Kotan. I'm very surprised we actually got all this territory. That's actually insane. And they, and they never even bothered us after that. They're like, oh, whatever. Okay, whatever. Works for me. Well, do they want to peace out with us? Or what? Welcome back. Um, you're still Ping Nan Guo. I'm not sure there's anything else we can do about that. The rebellion crushed. With Qing forces marching into Kunming, the Panthe Rebellion is officially over. The rebels and the leaders have been routed, and already measures are being taken to ensure there are no further disturbances. Victory's ours. Oh! We just should have annexed them. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, so you'll be fine. Come up here now, and you will come over here, and so we can add another horse and infantry. <clears throat> what did we just add? Here's the infantry. Yeah. Alright then. Well. The British like us. Oh, crap. That's not good. Um. What do they want, actually, out of this? Ching. Number one in the world. I mean, how strong are the Russians? I, I can't imagine they'd be that weak. Do you have an alliance with you guys? We could try it. Then again, we have no money. H how much do they have actually up here? Uh, they actually have artillery if we don't. Uh, I don't really want to get involved with them. And this gives enough time to bolster our defenses up here too. Let's just peace out with them. They can have this. It's, it's worth grain. The grain in like t less than 30,000 people. Here, just have it. There you go. Russian lands. According to the peace treaty of the Russian Empire, we must give up lands that rightfully belong to them. Ah, and then we get the arrow and again. Yeah, no. Bunch of pirates. Uh, oh, they get Shanghai this time. Oh, dang, Shanghai is much better than... I don't know the Shanghai. Here. I want to punish the pirates, but whatever. So be it. Now we're out of money, which is not good. We're still at war. <coughs> Hopefully we don't get any sort of box of rebellion. We're doing well ish so far and we now have a capital too so we have a peace treaty um we will definitely need to prepare for the war against the russians yeah mughal empire they all died there too would you like peace son do we not have ticking war score dutch bone huh No, I guess not. Well, all right, whatever. Gonna take us a while. <laughs> we have one division there. Wow, that sucks. And we got like no money. You win some, you lose some. This China, apparently. I don't want to keep cutting down the debt, but I'm not sure, or at least education. I'm not sure what else we can do about that. Go back up by one. There you go. All right, not bad. Europeans harass high militancy among certain parts of the population. Hong Kong's led an outbreak of violence directed to local expatriate foreigners. <clears throat> the embassies of the great powers have all lodged formal diplomatic complaints with the government and seem to expect some sort of action on our part, which we do. Ignore them. <coughs> Round of you, you, you uh, suspects. I've heard I don't want to lose this, but Jing East Canton. There we go. Well. Now they're under us again. 
We combine you into one big old group here, and we'll put you in Hong Kong, I guess. Now we make enough money. Which is nice. Hopefully no one else wants to kill us off, but... I think we'll get ready to go to war with someone else, maybe? Once again, Southeast Asia will hopefully be ours, in which we can conquest them and uh, see what happens. Also, we did get the event there last time, saying how we got whoever under us. It was this group here. Um, the Xinjiang Urumukui. And, uh, yeah, now they get Uyghurs uh, to the population. Actually, for us, where are we at? Manchu North Han, so that's not bad. We just still so been kind of hanging out, though. Like, other than that, we're just kind of hanging out. Having a good old time. Flying in the mountains, you know, good stuff like that. You know, go back. Go to Hong Kong as well. Go back. I made another decision. Go back to Hong Kong. Nunning. And where are they headed now to? Kind of popped. What, what's this like as well around here? Oh, commission warship. Ooh. Well, it could be better. It's not like we can really force the attack either. We have nothing but a bunch of regulars. Did I lower spending on the military yet? No, I'm not. Now we're making some good money. It's kind of ridiculous. Hmm. I really don't want to fight him in the mountains, but if we have to, so be it, whatever. There we go. I don't want to make a ton of money. I want to make sure we still educate the populace. So. Let's take that towel out first. We'll see what happens. Take maybe these guys out as well. Alright, they're dead. I know I please. Thank you. No. No. You're not leaving us. Nope. So just kind of hanging out. <clears throat> also, I did start putting some soldiers up here too. It take some time for us to get enough soldiers up here, but that's alright. Um, what do we have here? It's not bad. Oh, actually, you go right there. There you go. Yeah, we could use uh, maybe one more. There you go. Is that the most prestigious country in the world? I'll take it. Oh, this is going to be a little bit of a problem, ain't it? Give us one more month, maybe get a little more organization first. See what we can do about these guys. I kind of doubt we could do. Ooh, he's really bad. Oh, Cambodia. No. Personality. These guys suck. These guys really suck. Culture comp. If Jing Zhao were the protagonist of a romantic play, then dark clouds, heralding storms, strife, and conflict would be the hanging low on the horizon. The conflict between South Han locals and the Qing minority in Jingzhou was heating up, and a distressing message has been sent to the government of Peking, pleading for intervention from the central government. Our options are either conduct a crackdown on organized South Han groups in the province, or bide our time and hope that the situation itself uh, is relieved. <coughs> Even though we're really sucking in defense, I mean, attacking will be no issue. Thank you, son. Thank you very much. There you go. That's what we like to see. I'm taking forever up here too, so. Um, other than that, we're doing okay. We're doing definitely okay. 33,000. We're gonna get two more horses here as well. 39,000, so we can so throw some. Ah, oh, 32. Okay, we can get three horses in. Alright, three horses would be fine. Hey, some more liberal. Oh, then again, we have so much reaction and conservative support. It's not funny. Oh my goodness. Make an okay amount of money. Oh wait, what's that? Oh, it's because we have tariffs. That's right. Yeah. I thought it was war indemnities. Uh, sure, Prussia. <coughs> Come on through our lands. That's fine with us. But can we get anything from them? No? Well? You gonna offer us peace or anything? Oh, there goes a, there goes a budget. Well, they're now under us. It's pretty nice. Um, you guys, hang out down here. Ha Tian. You guys, hang out near Hui. And then you guys, just gonna stay there. See what we can do. Get some more boys. But 
Other than that, I think we're going to end the episode there. I've played this for like the last like two, three hours, so... Yeah, it's already 1859. Let me know what else I should do in this campaign. Just be, Or what else should I, I expect? Because I don't want to get too far without getting you guys' input, so... If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably end up at war with some European powers, and especially the Russians, probably, and the British, but thanks for watching, and have a great, 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 great rest of your day.